Hello and welcome to another installment of Reynolds Product Review. My name is Brett. I'm the videographer at Reynolds Your Imports. I'm here today to present Marklin's new 2018 Insider Club model. And surprise, surprise, it's an all-new Swiss Crocodile. This new Crocodile has all-new tooling and will feature many new innovations like digital panographs, LED shunting lights, MFX advanced sound decoder, digital telex couplers, dual high-efficiency motors, and so much more. Reynolds is one of the few dealers that offer Insider Club models to both club members and non-club members. Here at Reynolds, we feel like these models will be in high demand because every Markland enthusiast loves the iconic crocodile. Now, let's enjoy this amazing model in action. Here comes the new club model for 2018. The design was a really complex one to implement. The shunting platform at the front end of the engine was a difficult part. The roof was overhauled and the fans on each side are brand new features as well. For the first time, Maclean has released a crocodile suitable for shunting movements. Of course, this also meant that elements such as the shunting platform had to be designed to scale. Yes, that yeah, was a tricky part. On the prototype engine, this element is usually nothing more than a sheet of metal. On the model, however, it had to hold the circuit board and wires for the LED lights. It wasn't easy to fit all of this in, but I think it worked out nicely in the end. The same applied to the construction of the pantographs. We mounted a servo motor inside the body that took up quite a lot of space, which almost didn't leave enough room for the decoder, but it all worked out well, as the servo motor fit in after all, so the pantograph can now be raised and lowered. The locomotive is equipped with a pair of telex couplers, which we are going to present in detail in an upcoming edition of Maclean TV. These couplers really are exceptional. If you are interested in the big prototype of the Havo Crocodile, you should visit the Technik Museum in Sinsheim, which has a cooperative relationship with the Macklin Club. We tagged along as product manager Karl-Heinz Gressle went to the museum. He was thoroughly impressed by the 128-ton engine. It's absolutely overwhelming to see this engine for real and to think about the fact that it's 87 times bigger than the model we are producing right now. This version of the crocodile came with a special feature, the triangular rod. Yes, absolutely. These rods are a typical characteristic of this early series of the crocodile engine. 2018 feiern wir mit unserem Insider Club. In 2018 we are celebrating the Insider Club's 25th anniversary together with all its members. On this special occasion we are releasing the heraldic animal of the Maclean company as our first club model for 2018. The crocodile in its shunting version. This engine has had a long history with the Maclean brand, but never before has it been produced in this particular version. We are standing here right in front of the very locomotive that we are currently producing as a Maclean half o model. It's the engine with road number 14282. However, our model depicts the engine as it looked at the end of the 1970s. Back then, the crocodile only had one pantograph, which was all it needed to perform shunting movements. Another typical feature was the shunting platform on one end, which is also now missing on the prototype. The Macklin Club models also come with exciting technological innovations. What's special about this model? The new crocodile comes with many new innovations and technological details. We already talked about the single pantograph, that's something we've never had on a crocodile before. It's fully operational by means of digital operation. Moreover, the crocodile is equipped with a full range of sound functions. The engine is powered by two onboard motors. And what's particularly nice with this new model is that it receives a brand new type of telex couplers that haven't been used on any other model before. Aha. Okay. 
Ja, wenn man hier oben steht, versteht man Standing here, it's not hard to believe that back in the day so many young boys wanted to become engineers. The view through this window, out on the tracks and the passing landscape, must have been wonderful. Yes, looking out through this window across the crocodile's nose, the engineer would have seen a long line of freight cars that the crocodile would have hauled up and down the Gotthard Pass in Switzerland, at a top speed of 65 km per hour. This particular locomotive was at home at the Gotthard as well, but was later modified and turned into a shunting engine and operated at the large freight stations such as Basel or Winterthur. What exactly was it used for? They used it to move freight cars back and forth, for example at the shunting hub. Still, it was also used on the regular line with shorter freight trains in Tau. I've recently come across an interesting piece of history. Whenever the locomotive needed to be overhauled, it had to be taken all the way across the Gotthard Pass to the repair shed in Bellinzona. To make the trip more economical, the engine would actually take the journey with a freight train in tow. Yes, exactly. If there was freight to be transported anyways, they would just use the crocodile to haul it for that part of the way. This is also an interesting option for model railroaders who don't have a shunting hump on their layout or simply don't want to depict shunting movements all the time. They could in fact also operate the engine on track pulling a freight train and wouldn't have to worry about this being unrealistic. Not at all. It would be absolutely acceptable to hook a nice set of freight cars to this crocodile. As a matter of fact, we are going to release such a matching set along with the engine. It comprises five freight cars including a high-sided wagon with Swiss tail lights so that model railroaders will be able to create an authentic train set. That sounds great. And we even have a pre-series version of this model already on hand. So let's take a closer look at it on the layout. Absolutely. We are at a freight station. The scene is set in the 1970s. Our crocodile has a long line of cars that need to be pushed over the shunting hub. The locomotive comes with this tiny figure of a shunter as well. The set of cars that we mentioned earlier also includes a car carrier and two box cars. Car after car is being pushed over the hub and on the specific sorting siding. The Swiss Railroad modified a total of 12 crocodiles for the challenging service at the shunting hub. It's hard to believe, but those hardy engines would have been on regular duty for about 20 years. The crocodile in Zinsheim received a nice coat of paint on its chassis, which is not entirely true to the original. The Macklin model, in contrast, depicts the engine in its authentic appearance. An antenna replaced the second pantograph on the roof. Naturally, the model's body is largely made of metal. The oil coolers on each side were carried out nicely and true to the original. An MFX Plus decoder is installed on board. This is only a pre-series model that does not include functional lighting. As we wanted to see the crocodile in action on the layout as well, we paired it with an RE66 engine. This is another nice, authentic alternative duty for the mighty model crocodile, apart from its usual work at the freight station. Please note that the deadline for ordering is April 30, 2018 which also includes the set of cars and the corresponding Trix models. We really don't want you to miss out on these beautiful models and shed crocodile tears in the end.
This concludes our presentation on the Marklin 2018 Insider Club model, the all new Swiss Crocodile. If you'd like to purchase this or many other products like it, please visit our website, Reynolds.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Thank you for watching.